Hi, and welcome to another video in the RHCSA video series. Today's video is on diagnose and correct file position problems. So this is just more of a maybe a proper, uh, so this is more of a like a practical section. So they're going to give you uh, a particular file uh, um, or maybe even a, a directory that's got the I unable to access and you will need to uh, diagnose why you can't access it. Perhaps it's um, could be various different mission problems um, and based on that you have to either uh, fix the issue or report on how, how the issue is best fixed. Um, so in this case we're going to talk about you know, the a standard um, CH mod which is uh, set the um, read, write and execute permissions for um, the owner, the group and other, which is basically the world, where they don't really can access the system. And then we've also going to talk about ACLs, which we haven't covered before. So ACLs are just like, um, uh, they're basically access control lists, and they simply allow us to extend the file permissions beyond just um, owner, uh, group, and other. So we can actually be quite granular, so we can say, this group has this particular permissions to this file, um, and this group has this permissions, and then we can say you know, um, maybe this particular group has the four permissions, or this owner of this particular user. So we can go quite granular. So we can have quite a long list of ACLs rather than just the owner, the the, the group, and the uh, everyone else essentially. So that's quite a good. It's quite um, granular, and it's quite it's quite simple to set up. So we, we can check that. So that's what two things you have to check is do it, do you have the relevant permissions to access the file um, and if you don't you can actually obviously update permissions either via the ACL change or via uh, CH change. Uh, so let's go into an example I've created. So uh, into the terminal again, but we don't want to go in this um, route this time. Because we need to be as a regular user to for this practical issue. So let's see into documents. I've created a couple of files. So I've created a couple of example files in here. And I have notes that they're actually owned by root. And first, so it's root uh, owner and root, the root group is the owner of this. So root and root. So in this case, um, I'm logged in as this user here, which is the England. And you can see I. You can see the permissions here. So by using ls minus l as a very minimum, I add these extra tags on the end to give um, to show hidden files um, to uh, to list them in a particular order. So you can see the newest files that they go bottom there. Um, you can see the extended attributes, etc. So it's quite nice to do, use the full command there. But you can just use the ls minus l and you'll get at least the domain mm -hmm. there that you need. So uh, there's two files there. There's no read permissions, and then there's ACL read restricted rights. So first thing to notice is these bit options here. So you can see this one has the end with just a dot. It's got no uh, extended permissions there, but this one's actually got a plus. So it means the same interesting going on there. And I've actually given them the, the name of the file so you can to kind of uh, suggest what they might be going on there. So we've got ACL restrict right in there. So we'll just double check that and once we get to that one. So let's first check the no read permission. So uh, first thing to do, obviously, do the ls minus l. We can see here um, read uh, and execute for the owner, which is root read and execute for the group which is root and then finally no permissions for anyone else so that means i shouldn't be able to read or write to this file so let's check this we are no read permission permission denied you can see at the bottom there in the bi so i've got no access to that file so what can we do about it um we could we could easily fix this uh, if we can get in as a root user because the root user actually owns this. 
So it could be any user, of course, that owns the file, and uh, then you can set the permissions and the from there. So we can do a sudo in this case, to sudo in the elevate our permissions, and then do a chmod, and then set the permissions. So at the moment it looks like it's a uh, six, six, and then we can set ourselves as a six as well. And it's, we might need actually need to, need to add write to everyone really because we want all that to write otherwise. So just do this 777, make it simple. Uh, root permission, enter the pseudo password, and then we have set the permission. So now if we do a ls minus l in that directory again, we can see read write execute is now set for everyone. So we should be able to read this file now. We could read this, read the file, and we can even and I'd write to it as well. So we could just do an O test. And that's written. So that looks good. So let's do another example of that same task. So we just do a uh, sudo mod. And we do a 5 5 zero. So we've got read and execute again, like previous, and no issue, yeah, permissions. So what we could do is potentially add our user or group into as owners. So we could do that that way. We could do sudo, and then sudo th own, and then we'll do cmd. Ah, so I've actually said it myself as uh, own for the group as well, so let's just leave it as root. Again. So yep, seeing them as the owner of the class, now I should have read and execute. So I should be able to read the file now. Which I can. Right. As you notice, it's read only because I've only got read and execute. So, if I really wanted to add write, we can do a sudo ch mod. Let's do a seven five zero. Oops, type it correctly. Seven five zero, and then we got comma, no read permission, and follow. And finally, we've got all write permissions. We can delete that line. And run quick. Cool, so that works as well. So there's, there's multiple ways you can uh, tackle that. Um, so you just basically got to get yourself the access um, as required. So it might be read access, it might be write access, but yeah, you just need to match it up to it. Um, so if you're giving yourself the ownership of the file, you're giving the group the ownership of the file, or you could actually re uh, update the, the others. Um, for just these simple permissions. Okay, so now let's cover the ACL example. So as I mentioned, ACL is a bit more uh, granular, so we can set permissions um, at the CH mod level, like we just did, but then we can also set uh, overriding ACL permissions. So the ACL permission because we have an explicit deny or we have an explicit uh, allow for maybe read by or execute. And we can say, you know, a particular uh, user has got read by access, and this particular user has got a read only access, and then this particular group has got read by and execute, for example. And uh, this is generally set at the operating level, um, at the uh, mounting level. So when you mount your disk, you need to mount the ACL option. You can quite easily, quick, quickly see if you've got ACLs enabled, if you just check any file. In the operating system, um, using um, get f ACL or get file ACL is the way I always remember it, and then a particular file. So we've got ACL restricted write, uh, ACL restricted write, and we can see it returns ACL information. Um, so if we do an ls minus l again in that file. And we can see we've got read, write, execute, read, write, execute, read, write, execute, 
So for root use, for the root user, we've got root line execute. For the root group, we've got root line execute. And for everyone, we've got root line execute. And we've got that plus to say we've got an ACL. So if we try and do a VR on the file, the actual are still read only. So there's something in the ACL for, for um, preventing the full access as you'd expect. So, this is one to catch it. It's, this plus indicates the ACL there. And using that get FACL, we can see if there's anything interesting we've got in the So we just run that there. So we've got get FACL in the file name. We can see the owner, etc. all well, that useful, useful information. The user, general users, read by execute. Groups, read write. Mask is read by execute, and the others, read write. Okay. You can see there's an extra line here. User, which is my user, which is then read and execute only. So, so what I've been able to do is just read and execute. So how do we get resolve this? We can create a new uh, uh, ACO entry to then give myself full right permissions. So that is enough. We just do a sudo again and then set FACO minus M to update permissions and then the U for user, G for group. Very simple there. See England. And then we can do read client execute and then the file or directory. No errors, so it looks good. Ls minus L, you see absolutely nothing has changed as far as chmod is concerned. You can see no changes. Let's do a get FACL and then ACL which could right. You can now see the entry has been updated for the user and to read by execute. As you can see there, it's pretty much the same format there, so that's a good way to remember it if it helps. You can use G for group. Okay, so we do a clear and then do a VR on that part. We now have Right. So you can see if I can read right and quick on this, it's right there's working fine. That's great. Cool. So that's now working for our user. And all is good. They're still on by roots. Um, we could even remove the other permissions now and we will still have that rights because we've got an ACL entry specifically giving up us that additional access. So we'll just do a studio chmod 770 so give all other users no access at all. Do a check. That's removed. And now we can still do the get F ACL. You can see others do not have any access, so it updates the ACL's parties. And you can see my user has specific permissions to do that. So let's do a clear again and do a VI on the file. We can delete the line, double D, right click, we've just written to the file, and cat to confirm, and it's done. So, that is a quick run through um, on how to fix permissions and, and uh, how to work with ACOs in a pretty simple um, manner. They, obviously they're quite complex if you wanted to go really deep into it, but for the sake of the exam we just need to know the very basics, how to resolve any um, issues with ACOs, and, and this is what we need to do. And also don't forget to practice again with chmod, chm, and then uh, get F -F ACL and set F ACL. Yeah, that concludes the video. So I popped um, usual uh, stuff on there for my my sponsors for the video. So um, 
I work as an affiliate for these particular things and I've also got my team um, public page where you can actually get my merchandise if you're interested in anything like that. So we've got t-shirts, cups, uh, every kind of thing with the, the, the awesome CSG logo on there. So check it out if you're interested. Uh, we've also got Sophos uh, Antivirus, fantastic option, uh, free antivirus if you want it. You can also go for the paid resolution if you want more granular content. And then finally we've got the We've got the VPS there, uh, which is the virtual private server to host um, a CentOS instance, which you can then practice Red Hat while you're out and about all over the place, relevant across all the countries in the world, and still practice. Uh, and I did a video about that previous, so you can check that out as well if you want to help set that up. Um, yeah, that's about it. And obviously, don't forget, there's the my Kofi page um, to if you got if you want to buy me coffee at some point, uh, please check out the website and just donate where you can. That's that'd be fantastic. Uh, yeah, just thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.